Emma Reynolds, Shadow Housing Minister, here at the CIH conference for the first time. Hi Emma, can you tell us uh, what we need to know about the Lions Review? Well, we set up the Lions Commission at the end of last year. There's been a great deal of interest from all parts of the um, housing sector. Uh, Lions has had uh, nearly 300 submissions. He'll be reporting with his panel of experts in September this year, and he's going to address some of the fundamental reforms we need to bring forward so that we can get 200,000 homes a year built by 2020. One of the policies that you've talked about is making sure that the right to buy actually does replace one home sold with one home built. Can you tell us how you'd go about doing that? Well firstly to say that this government pledged that for every council house sold there will be one built and it has absolutely failed to carry out that promise. I am looking at what mechanisms we need to put in place to make sure that we can have a proper replacement policy because council housing is so very important and in the early part of my child up childhood I grew up in a council flat so this is something that's very personal to me too. One of the other issues that people are very concerned about is developers who are renegotiating their section 106 agreement so that they're having to provide less affordable housing. How would you go about um, changing that if you think it needs to be changed? Well now that the environment for house building is much easier than it was um, a couple of years ago during what was a long and difficult recession, I really do think that house builders need to take their responsibilities uh, as seriously as, they, as, as we would hope that they would and local authorities need to know that they have have um, more leeway and scope for being pretty hard-nosed in their negotiations. We're not in the middle of a recession anymore. Uh, the house building industry is profitable and therefore it should be contributing their fair share to affordable housing too. Thank you very much Emma. Thank you.